today we're gonna be looking at some Harry Potter stuff by IGN. Uh, I don't really care about IGN, but if they got inside information about stuff, I'm gonna look at it anyway and just look past whatever the heck, you know, whatever. But the first thing we got is the final preview of Hogwarts. And I'm fully aware of all the crap that's happening behind this game. I just want y'all to know that I do not care about the political crap behind this crap, okay? If the game's good, I'm going to play it. If the ga Sorry, if the game looks good, I might play it. If the game looks bad, I might not. So I have two videos. I'm going to watch the preview and then some actual gameplay, and we'll see how it goes, okay? I looked this game up on Steam. The, the, the game costs 80 bucks, so keep that in mind too. Let's just see what happens. All right, so far off, off with the dragon. Okay. We do not live in a world rich with great Harry Potter games. Nobody has warm feelings for the horde of chintzy, cynical movie tie-ins that plagued the PS2 and Xbox during the mid 2000s. Well, I played. So when poor oh, key game I played. The first Harry Potter game I played was on the GameCube. It wasn't that good. <laughs> the big budget Hogwarts legacy in 2020, mm -hmm. it was clear that the studio was aiming spectacularly high with its interpretation of oh. Harry Potter. After a two hour hands-on, I can say with confidence that the wizarding world has rarely looked better. The I, I will agree. Cockeyed whimsy and high fantasy hijinks of Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. See that, that looks good. Okay. My, my issue is not really with the environment of the game and how the world looks. My issue is with the character model and how they look and how they talk. Uh, they clearly didn't put a whole lot of process into it, which, you know, if the game is good, I can look past that. I don't really care. Legacy is rendered with dogmatic servitude to the books, while the combat and exploration, mm -hmm. the game part of this video game, that guy got destroyed. is robust enough to rope in more casual fans of the fiction. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's all happening at the exact moment the world is reconsidering their lifelong ties to one of the greatest stories ever told. Okay, let's like they're only reconsidering because of fucking simple whatever. Just simple crap. Let's not put that crap into the game, please. Just just do the review without all the outside crap coming into the game. Nobody cares about the outside crap or the outside drama. Just leave it alone. Let's continue. Leave that crap alone. Been keeping up with the information drip, Hogwarts uh -huh. Legacy takes place in the late 19th century, and therefore it operates independently from some of the more familiar touchstones of Potter lore. No okay. Voldemort, no Dumbledore, no multitude of Weasley surname. Okay, that's that's fine. As long as they're able to keep the Harry Potter stuff going, I I don't really care. If they can make a good story, I don't care. You play as a fifth year transfer student. That looks like some good customization right there. The models look good right there. Why do it look so crap in the game? Potent character creator. Uh huh. Complexion, hair color, eyebrow shading, and yes, body types, vocal tenor, and the choice to be referred to as either a witch or a wizard. Okay. Afterwards, you'll be quickly implanted directly into the day-to-day -day scholastic... What is this butterfly body. thing flying around? My time with the game was brokered into two major... The crap is annoying. A treacherous story chapter where I was asked to both infiltrate and destabilize a nefarious dragon cockfighting ring and okay. a dulcet afternoon on the castle grounds where I solved side quests, played mini games, and soaked in the persona-like splendor of simply hanging out at school. The combat was the highlight for me, which I was not expecting. In That's good. In Potter games, the Quicksilver wizard clashes of the books are reduced to dull, rote, third-person shooting galleries. Yeah. Harry, Ron, and Hermione taking on an endless series of identical Death Eaters who all seem to brandish magical facsimiles of shotguns and sniper Yeah, they sucked, yeah. Hogwarts Legacy changes the formula considerably. Despite good. the projectiles ricocheting back and forth across the arenas, the game functions more like a Ninja Gaiden-esque combo masher. Your character okay. automatically locks onto wherever they're facing, and the hocus pocus that comes cascading out of your wand can be chained together like a screen-filling, health bar-obliterating Marvel vs. Capcom tsunami. 
Okay. Director Allen 2 compares the system to a sort of long range dueling. Your arsenal is mapped to the face buttons, and after messing around with the controls for a few minutes, I was able to come up with some wild, improvised concoctions. I'd leviosa my enemy into the air, tag them with some basic filler casts, pull them in close with an Akio before setting them aflame with the incendio. The physics okay. engine absolutely revels in your chaos. Uh -huh. These fly across the map. I feel like... He only played for about two hours. I feel like the combat could get way more extreme than what's going to be shown in this video, most likely. Let's just continue. Like they've become weightless and boneless. I feel like it's going to be insane. Potter video games have tried and failed to replicate the fiction's unique take on spell casting for decades. Yeah. Port Key seems to have established a structure that will likely be aped for years to come. Okay. My stint wandering around Hogwarts itself wasn't quite as exciting as my trip to the Dragon. Yeah, so you see how everything looks, everything around the player model looks good. The player model itself was kind of bad <laughs> to, to me. Oh, well, look, it's, 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 what's, it's freaking, I don't know what his name is now, goddammit. The Roach of Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, they still have the arena there, at least. That's good. They got the arena still there. Where they poked around okay. nooks and crannies of the Hagrid. castle. Hagrid. That's his name. Soaking up collectibles, deciphering okay. basic puzzles. Oh, okay, that's what the butterfly was then. Tasks assigned to me by my class. Yeah, you see how, you see how the face right here? Just, Classmates. look at that. <laughs> put a charm on her books that caused them to flutter around in the air. Yeah. I Akio'd them back into her possession. But again, everything else is good. I joined a round of what can only be described as wizard's curling. My okay. adversary and I used our wands to usher a set of leather balls down a wooden platform. The okay. The they got to the edge without falling off, the more points oh. we'd score. Okay, yeah. Reverse curling. Weight. Port key didn't allow us to delve into, say, potions class or a meaty side quest digression, which left me hoping okay. that Hogwarts Legacy will include some finer character moments outside of the core campaign. I hope Let so. Broker a genuine camaraderie with the other denizens of the school. A Harry Potter game can only hit its marks if, by the end of the runtime, we're willing to lay down our lives for a kindly groundskeeper or an eccentric headmaster. It should also be said that eh. Hogwarts Legacy appears to be swimming in the darker edges of the canon. Which is good. It was shocking to see that one of the spells on my combat hotbar was Crucio. Better oh, that's good known to the layman as the torture spell yeah that's good let me tell you something if you could make a good character or a bad character i would a hundred percent without a doubt make a bad character just because you play i played a lot of fable always went bad no questions asked good is boring no one wants to be the good guy be the freaking badass bad guy all right be the guy that tortures and then just fucking kills for no reason be that guy. Which inflicts searing white hot pain in its target. In Go the Harry Potter universe, Crucio put him in the air and then do that. Just so everybody can see it. One of the and then set his ass on fire. Three unforgivable curses. Go ahead. Huge... I'm gonna use all three if I play this game. No no. Perhaps mm -hmm. these are the themes Hogwarts Legacy intends to deal with. I hope so. How did Crucio become unforgivable anyways? Who cares? Some of the finishing moves equipped my character were similarly macabre. After Char Actually, I think it tells you in the movie. I think it tells you in the movie, but I, I, I don't know. I haven't watched them in a while. Up a meter and tapping the two shoulder buttons, my avatar could reduce a rival wizard... Like it's torture. Like torture's not good, bro. Looney Tunes dust. Yeah. The Harry Potter books are centered around the purity it? of teenaged friendship, so it is weird to watch a fifth year take a life. Again... Uh, uh, I don't think it really matters. Maybe Hogwarts Legacy intends to explore... It's... Listen... Harry Potter is, I think it's mostly for kids, you know, like the kids to teenager kind of area that like fantasize. Cause you can tell this is going to be, it's going to be a, a button mashing game. I have no problem with button mashing games. I, I play them too. Like it's whatever. Uh, but you can tell that it's designed around mostly kids. You know, they don't want it to be too hard. They want it to be pretty understanding of what to do and when to do stuff. And you know, it'll obviously if adults play it, then adults play it. But you can just you can just tell. 
first brush though it's pretty jarring. they want to put they want to make the kid feel like they're in the game that's what it is but like who cares they must have only just captured her she's putting up quite the fight Mm -hmm. Of course, anyone who chooses to play Hogwarts Legacy must contend with all sorts of contradictions, most of which are far more important than the usual dissonance we tend to find in video games. J.K. Rowling has established herself as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces. Okay. <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Write a review for the video game. Don't care. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares. This is on the planet. The character creator in Hogwarts Legacy offers a huge amount of gender diversity, but that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. Ah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> if purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. I spoke with Alan too about these questions during my visit, and you can read the results of our conversation on IGN, but you're not likely to find a clean answer to those concerns. Who cares? It looks like we're finally getting a good Harry Potter game. Shouldn't it feel better than this? <laughs> more on Hogwarts Legacy, check out the official cinematic trailer as well as some Dark Arts Battle Arena gameplay. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. Okay, well, how about you just stick to, how about you stick to just putting your crap in video games? Leave your world crap out of it. Who the fuck cares? Like, you're, you made clearly three videos on the game already. You probably, you probably made more. I didn't actually check. You most likely made more. Like, saying, saying something about someone's opinion in real life and then putting your commentary in the video and then making money off of that video like aren't you in the same pool like aren't you in the same pool <laughs> like you just made a video anyway i think you'd be in the same fucking pool bro <laughs> is all i'm saying like who care nobody cares anybody with a brain knows that nobody fucking cares about worldview opinions what's gonna probably happen is people are gonna buy the game and say it's good just to stick it to the liberals because people do that. People are fucking weird. People are fucked up. They don't understand that they're also caught in the same loophole, even though they're conservative, as the liberals are caught up in the same fucking loophole, okay? If you go into this game without knowing anything, just keep all of that other crap out, okay? Don't even worry. If you don't know about the, uh, the JK Rowling crap, don't look it up. Don't bother. It's literally not important. Nobody cares. All right. Just buy the game if it looks good to you, if it looks appealing to you, if you think it's worth 80 bucks. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Look at that. Look, that guy's wearing a mask. I hope I could wear a mask. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, this is the next one where it's just 11 minutes of gameplay. Now, again, he also played the game for two hours to also write the review. So, again... Just keep your freaking political crap out of game reviews. Nobody cares. Okay, they want to know if the game's good or not. That's literally it. And there are people going to buy it just to stick it to liberals. Even though J.K. Rowling is also still a liberal with opinions. Everybody has opinions. Who cares? But it's not really an opinion. It's actually a fact. But we're going to get we're going to walk past that. Here, all sorts of evidence, but I found something else. It's goblin made. I okay. found goblin Again, I I am not a fan of how the models look. The character models. They look like shit. Mama, let's keep searching, but carefully. They look like shit. Merlin only knows what's going on here. This person also I says Merlin a lot. I don't know why. Okay, let's go. Scenery again looks good. And poacher interests align. I don't know what that is. Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creep. Snipe them. So, what are they doing out here? I don't know. Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use this illusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Just go in there and just kill them. From up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. How yeah, we just went in there and just... Kill them. Okay, invisibility. Okay. That's good. Oh, 
are you smiling at? Don't you go giving me that look. I'm saying. Uh oh. Okay. Just snuck our way into the tent. Became uninvisible with a person behind her. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know who Merlin is. Except for the person from Sword in the Stone. Oh. Yeah, so instead of chickens, they use dragons. Dope. Free fire. It's a dragon fighting room. This is Hauntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. What the heck is up with your face? What's going on right here? Why do you have half an eyebrow missing? What's going on here, though? What happened? No wonder the poachers okay. were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. Who cares? There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Okay. Then I walk Victor was sinking straight in the bar. That person somehow just saw you. I don't know how you didn't see that. <laughs> the, the question mark filled up real fast, and you just try to jump over the ledge. Nah, definitely not where you're supposed to go. <laughs> you gotta get the bubble. There you go. Get the bubble. There you go. There you go. Set them on fire. Damage over time, bro. That's key. Fire is key. Never mind. You're apparently never mind. All right. Challenge unlocked. Defeat Dark Witches. Okay. One out of ten. Okay. Horntail Hall. Okay. Go that way. See what's over there. See what's over there. Okay. Bunch of dead dragon bones, it looks like. Have you heard from your family? Your Collection family updated. Well, they join us? Nah, they Oilist Warrior. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to get me precisely what I want. Sickens me. It's fair, yeah. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay oh. for what they've done. Hold up. You can't see the spells she's using. There you go. That's what she got. Mm hmm. Okay. It looks like an assassination. Okay. Dead. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh dear. He just got big real fast. There you go. Set him on fire. Set him, set him on fire. You missed. Oh, you're being attacked by somebody else. There you go. Right there. Get him. Set him on fire. God dang it. Use the circle button. I'm pretty sure it's fire. It looks like fire to me. Damage over time, bro. Ooh, snap. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, get shielded, bro. That looked good. That looked nice. I, did the other guy die? I didn't even see him die. All right. Well, we're going to continue. I wonder what that means saving the game. I wonder if that's just an auto save. Ladder, climb. Okay. There's a griffin. Ride the griffin. Okay. Or look at the dragon. Sure. Walking in a circle. Shoot him. Set him on fire. Oh, you missed. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Get him. There you go. Bite him. There you go. You got it. You got it. Get him. Oh, what the hell? Oi. I was watching that. Oh, that's not fair. That person's in chains. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. True. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. 
Let's even her on, shall we? That's real stupid. Why would you unfree a dragon? That's dumb. Y'all dumb. Y'all about to die. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. I don't know what the hell that means. Not with the plans they likely have for it. That's true, yeah. I would take it. Unlock. Okay. Uh oh. It looks like a puzzle unlock. I'm not a fan of puzzle stuff, but almost every game has a puzzle thing. I just skip it. There's an option to skip it in the settings. I just skip it. It's a waste of time for me personally. I don't care for it. That's a blue egg. All right. Oh. I have the egg. Ready. Equipping, equipping. Ah, oh, I couldn't pause it for some reason. Equipping better gear with higher stats. Okay, will help you fight higher level enemies. So he doesn't have. So he has. He doesn't have good armor on. I guess. What what level is this guy? He's level nine, I think. No, I think he has nine potions. I don't know what level he is, but I'd assume that if that's popping up, he doesn't have good armor. He's got to be level. He's got to be like level 19, eight, between somewhere between 18 and 20, obviously, because these guys are level 19. He's looking at this guy. This guy's level 19. Okay. Okay, throwing. See, the throwing does, throwing does 300 damage. But when he hits them normally, it does 30 damage. <laughs> okay. Look at that. 19 damage. 38, 38. Yeah, he has. I don't think he has good armor on. <laughs> 19, 19, 19. Yeah, he doesn't. He definitely doesn't have good armor on. <laughs> All right. 194. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Hmm. I don't know how much damage the AI is doing. That's what I want to know. I can't see how much the AI is doing. 300 with a throw. Hmm. Hello? You're the one we're looking for, and you draw a friend. Careful. One less shame to Boom. Chicken. Get wrecked. Watch out for the goblin, he's a big boy. He may look small, but he's pretty big. Potion, use the potion. He dies pretty quick. Yeah, he's literally, he's basically dead. I don't know how he's alive. I don't know how he's alive. He drank to get potion back again. Or health back. Yeah, so he definitely doesn't have good armor on, that's for sure. He, he, I can show you right here. Look, look at this. Look how fast his health went down. From right over here. So he has full health. Right, he used a potion. He has full health. One hit, two hit. Three hit. Like, he's dead. <laughs> he's he's dead. He has no health left. So, uh... He's playing on an easy difficulty, obviously, because he should have died. So, three hits. He doesn't have the best armor on. So he's not dealing as much damage as he also should be. Getting absolutely wrecked. Two potions. What is that? Oh, good lord. That's fire right there. Yeah, he was dead. He was dead. <laughs> In that fire. Yeah, so I'm going to assume that the spells can get pretty freaking crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, the spells have to be crazy. Oh, oh, oh my god. Someone put the Hulk in the game. <laughs> Let's see you survive. Boom. 148, yeah. You need to level up your stuff, bruh. You're... 
the making of Boo Boo. Set him on fire. Set him on fire. All right, or not. There's someone on the ledge behind you. There you go, right there. You see him? Get him. Boom. Set him on fire. There you go. There you go. Set him on fire. Damage over time. That's how you do it, right there. Oh. You're like one shot, bruh. And dead. Dead. <laughs> Doesn't die, though. Oh, get him. Chuck him. There you go. Get him out of here. He's level 19. That's what level he is. Level 19. He's almost level 20. Free the dragon. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move myself back down now. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Of course. Of course it was. It was very bad. It was stupid. Eat his ass. Eat him. Do it. There you go. Hell yeah, and it shows it too. That's how you do it right there. There you go. Eat another one. Don't hold back. Eat another one. Or not. I like how the two children knew that what that spell was. The other ones didn't rip. Shoot the... There you go. Shoot that, yeah. Incendio. Get on out there. There you go. Yeah. This way. Rue. In their person IGN. Yep. Of course they did. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. I mean, that looked that looked good. That didn't look bad for what it was. Uh, the guy is definitely not putting on the best armor, so it is what it is. And I'm pretty sure he's playing on a very easy difficulty where if he gets low health, he won't die no matter what. So that's another thing. But I'm hoping that there is different difficulty levels. Obviously, I'm not gonna play on like the super easy one. I probably play on like normal or hard just to start out and then do a different one after if the game has replayability uh but the game for the combat it looks it looks good i'm mostly interested as to like this you see that look at that i'm mostly interested in being able to do stuff like this where it's just a, a huge mega spell that you can just do for the sake of doing it like if i could pick up like four people and just put them in that thing That'd be dope as hell. Like, I'd 100% do that. You know what I mean? Oops. Ignore that. Nothing happened. But, I mean, like, I think the spells, just by this right here, could get completely crazy. And I don't think this person, he only has, like, two hours to play the game. So, like, he has to cover as much as possible, right? But uh, I don't think he has... <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. He doesn't just have, like, people just know when to do certain things, right? And this guy just doesn't have that knowledge, <laughs> is all I'm trying to say. But, like, the gameplay, you know, looks dope to me. Yeah, the gameplay, the way that she casts spells, like, every... She has different poses and stances, too, you know? Boom, one stance, two stance, three stance, four stance, and then boom, look at that stance. A bunch of stances. Like, that's good. Personally, it's just the character model itself that just looks a little off to me. But other than that, everything else looks to be actually pretty good. Uh, when I first saw the game, uh, the trailer, actually, I shot on it. Because, like, just off the models alone, because there wasn't a whole lot shown. It looked like it was going to be a completely trash game. That, like, people are going to play it just for the sake of playing it. But this actually looks good. Like, it looks good. Uh, I'm not going to buy the game until I see more of the game. But it does look good. And I also hope people don't buy the game and say the game is good just because of political crap that nobody fucking cares about. Like, nobody cares, okay? 
If the game is good, just say the truth. If it's not good, just say it's trash. I will, I'll, I'll probably play it. Cause like, I don't care, you know? I'll probably play it. I'll let you know if it's good or bad. Like I play, I play this game right here. Look at this. This is the game I play. Yeah, this game. Look at that. I got, I played this game twice on the easy difficulty and the hard difficulty. And all it is, is just a combo. Like it's just a, ma a button mash, but the, I like the story to it. So I didn't really care. There was a button mash and the executions of it also pretty freaking dope. Like it just, it was basic, but it looked good to me. And it felt good to me to just do different combos and unlock those different combos and different styles. Why is this person holding a gun right here? I have no idea, but that would have been dope too. But regardless, like I want to play this game for my channel one day, just because I like the story personally. Multiplayer, I wouldn't buy it for the multiplayer, just buy it for the story. That's it. Like it's, it's basic as hell. But again, if button mashing is not a problem to me, I have no issue with button mashing. I don't care as long as the story and the gameplay is good. If it has replayability, that's also good. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, if you want to see me play the game when it comes out, you have to wait. But if you want to see me play the game when it comes out, just let me know in the comments. Again, I don't care about the political crap behind this nonsense or the freaking whatever the hell it is. Like, I, I, I straight up just don't care. Like, just live your life however you want to live it. Stop complaining about shit. There's other, more, there's more important crap to worry about, okay? Like, there's more important crap to worry about right now than that crap that's going on. If you don't know what's going on, just don't fucking worry about it, okay? Just go into this game with a clean and empty mind, okay? Just nice and clean. Nice and peaceful mind, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, if you want to see me play it, leave a like. See you guys in the next video. I'll take care and bye-bye.